Alright, hey guys, so lots of you <laughs> come again. <laughs> before moving to Japan um, or things you should know while living in Japan. So to help me <laughs> answer those questions, I have Chester and Donna. They're my Filipino friends. Thank you. Yeah, so we're gonna talk about that. And as a bonus, we're gonna be telling uh, maybe two or three stories about our kids or our experiences. Just some, you know, kawaii stories. Kawaii means cute for those who don't know. So yeah, let's talk about Japan. Japan. Talk. Oh. <laughs> okay, so what do you think are important things to know before? Or what are things you thought you should have known before you moved to Japan? I should have known. Well, I think the good thing is, because so we were hired through an agency, mm -hmm. and from there, they actually gave us a lot of insider tips coming from ELTs that already like, was living in Japan at that time. Most of the advice they gave to us is, um, I think, food. Yeah. <laughs> if we're not gonna be able to adjust quickly with the food here, then we should bring our own food, like spices, or mm. cook on our own save more money as well yeah. so like the first year try to cook your own food as much as you can okay uh what else um language wise <laughs> i yeah. just hope that i had studied more at least the basic ones while i was in the philippines before flying here because yeah. you would never know if you would be like assigned to a place where in literally no one speaks english mm -hmm. and if like yeah, yeah. Uh, any kind of Japanese skills can be really handy. Handy. Here. Yeah. Like even when you go to the conveni, like you want to buy some stuff, but you can't say what you want to buy because they can't understand you. So if you have that basic um, skill to communicate in Japanese, then that would be really great. For all my Jamaicans, <laughs> conveni here oh. is like um, Wakanda shop. <laughs> it's like it's like a supermarket, but a very expensive supermarket. It's like a stop on the go yeah yeah that's true and it, speaking about being expensive like i knew when i came here i knew that japan is expensive mm -hmm. but i underestimated it yeah like, i thought i thought that it's like it's even more expensive to actually come yeah to live here yeah. because the first world country isn't it? it is yeah but i was just not expecting <laughs> it to be that expensive yeah yeah, yeah. what that was expensive. what was the most shocking thing to you that you wish you knew before coming? Uh, shocking? Mm. Hmm. The work environment. Oh my god, me too. <laughs> it's yes, like, all of us oh, have to agree. <laughs> I wish they told that, that to us during training, but that's the thing that they were like, you're gonna have to find out yourself, girl. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna tell you because that, that's not the pleasant part. And, yeah. Oh my god, like it's, I mean, I really love their ethics, their work ethic. It's like <laughs> literally to die for, <laughs> literally speaking. Um, because they literally have some stuff in the contract you work until you die. Yeah. Like, they're robots and they take working so seriously. Like, so for example, like for our schools, we our contract is 4.45. We can leave at 4.45. So you work 8.30 to 4.45, yeah? Mm -hmm. Right. And they also have the same contract. And they will get to school from like 6 in the morning. And then they would leave at like 8 o'clock. And I'm like, but don't you have kids? Don't you have a husband or a wife or a life? Or... And then they go home and just drink and then go to sleep. And I'm like, wow. Mm -hmm. It's so sad. And you know, like being surrounded with that kind, with those kinds of people, sometimes it can be depressing. It, it, it depresses oh you. my god, yeah. when you have to have friends. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. depressing makes you a bit anxious if like everyone's just busy. 
And you're there, you know, just like killing your brain. Yeah, it's just like killing time. <laughs> you get yeah. you have these doubts about yourself, like, okay, am I not doing something? Like, <laughs> yeah, what should I be doing? doing? Yeah. 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 And they run around this bathroom for no reason. Like, they be running around like we're going crazy for nothing, just to look busy. And I'm mm -hmm. like, y'all gonna lose your necks, like, slow down. Mm -hmm. But I think that's uh, a cultural thing here in Thailand. I mean, in Japan. In Japan. Yeah, in Japan. <laughs> Because um, people want to show to other people that they're always busy. Yeah. Like it's, no, I don't know, maybe it's, it's one way for them to show that they are like, like just like everyone else, you know? Or, yeah. Yeah, they party. I remember the time. other day I was having, um, I think I've told this story before, I don't remember, but I was having lunch. And <laughs> so we don't get paid for our lunch time, okay? So they came and they're like, Nikki are you busy? I said, yeah, I'm eating. <laughs> She's like, oh, well, I want to, I said, I'll come to you after lunch. I don't get paid for lunchtime. I'm not going to work through my lunchtime like you guys. No. We can talk when I'm on the clock again. No. Like, they, they, and then they'd be like, oh, come in the side, come in the side. Can I? No. No. After lunch. I want to eat. I want my, my time of peace now, at least for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then we can talk afterwards. And they'll see you doing something, they'll be like, are you busy? I'm like, but you see me doing something. Of course I'm busy. I don't know. It's, it's weird. Yeah. It's really weird. It's just them being, like, polite. But not polite, because they know what they're asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so annoying. But I think, for me, um, I wish I took studying Japanese more seriously. Mm -hmm. It's actually a really fun, cute... Language. Emotive language. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I think I, if I knew more, or if I could go back, I think I would, the one thing I would do, I would, um, I would study Japanese from home and like really take it seriously. Not just say, oh, I'm studying Japanese. Because, yeah, yeah it, it really helps. Especially because you have those teachers who try so hard to speak English. And I think mm -hmm. it's even more, um, what's the word? Like it, it comes across more appreciative if you can meet them halfway with your Japanese yeah, skills. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So what else do you think uh, we should know before moving here? We have uh, Japanese skills. Bring your own spices. And bring your own toothpaste. Toothpaste and mouthwash. And deodorant. And deodorant. So all your sanitary stuff you need because Japanese people don't believe in fluoride. Medicine. Or medicine. There's no fluoride in these toothpaste and, and in these Listerines. Like you have to go online and it's super expensive online here. Mm -hmm. So bring your own and oh, deodorant. Like their deodorant is useless. Useless. So bring your own. Bring your own. Yeah, they're very kind of like, <laughs> like organic like, or natural. Yeah. <laughs> you need some mm. some sense in your life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what else do you think? Uh be realistic and open. If you're not open-minded to experiencing culture, don't come. Yeah, because it's really different. It's. I mean, I'm from Asia, but this is. <laughs> this is a little, okay, if it's different for an Asian, can you imagine coming from yeah. the West? Yeah, you have you have to be willing to take deep breaths and be like, okay, I'm not in Jamaica or America or Canada mm -hmm. or the UK. You know, things yeah. are different. And everyone is so quiet and and appreciative of other people's space. That one, I really appreciate that one here. It took me a minute to get it because I've never heard, I'm lying, once heard a Japanese person's phone ring. You don't hear it. Like, they're so much in tune yeah. with people's space and they don't talk right. on their phones on the trains, yeah. in the train station, in public places. And if they do, it's they're like secret. Like, yeah. You don't hear. Yeah. So they're like really. It's like they think more of others than, than themselves. themselves. Yeah. yeah. When they're sober, though. When they're sober. <laughs> when, they're sober. <laughs> when they're sober. Yeah. Let's not talk about Japanese yeah. drunk. No. It's just on like it, midnight, like on the weekends. Yeah. Mm. Saturday like, nights are the worst. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just their job. Like, it's just yeah. more vocal mm -hmm. and, and yeah. Yeah. do whatever it wants. Yeah. Kind of way. Because I won't remember tomorrow. Have you been to an end kind? I mean, okay. not yet. The uh, like office party. drinking party. No, and I don't think I will go. 
Okay, why not? Um, that's okay. We gotta talk about this <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> in a different okay. That was good. Let's say. tone it down. Okay, so you know the culture where you don't pour your own drinks, and if your glass is empty, they will fill it up. Yeah, I don't feel like being drunk, yeah, and I don't feel like paying so much money for other people's food. Like, you know, I just, I can take people in small bunches. Like, I, I have to work with you. I, I shouldn't have to go out with you. There's, like, maybe a few people I would do it with, but I wouldn't, I don't think I would ever. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't know if you've um, got this advice during training that if you get to an Enkai and they just keep pouring drinks on you, just, like, sit. Sip it and yeah, take your time. pretend like you're drinking. Because this is your goal because everyone's going to get drunk. I think they're trying and to make sure you're drunk. They will to you, of course. So they want to see what you're like. Her get drunk. Yeah. <laughs> and Did see, it happen to see you? her real side of her honne, oh, you know, oh, her, her true her identity. And that's why they say, like, uh, a lot of people, they like going on enkais or even before signing contracts or business deals. Most executives would go for a drink and they pour each other's sake because they, they want to see how what you're like, what you're like, your your true self, mm. and that's where you talk about business like, over. Yeah, so business. definitely they do a lot of business convos over either coffee, mm. green tea, or liquor. Yeah. That's about it. Like yes. no food involved because mm -hmm. they want to see like what you are like. Yeah, yeah that's true. really sad if you come to think of it because you need to get drunk before you. And show your yeah. Yourself. But like, you just... you're my boss. Why would you want to see me like that? Like, is there no respect, like boundaries? Yeah. And that's another thing. What shocked me because I know Japanese people. They they are so respectful of their space, but they also are very not. That's not good English. Don't quote me. But <laughs> <laughs> like, so they'll be so like, oh my god, okay, you know, dajubu, dajubu, it's okay, it's okay. And then you open your lunch, and everybody's like, oh. Oh, you should so. Oh, you should so. It smells so good. It smells so good. And I'm just like, but can you just stay over there and stop putting your nose in my food? <laughs> and they ask so many personal questions. I don't think it's because they're. I think it's because they don't know any better. Honestly, I think it's just ignorance. Well, yeah. Yeah, I think it's ignorance. Yeah, they say um. Also, from what they see in the media. Mm. I mean, just how they, I guess it's the same for all the other places, but there is what most foreigners think is how we are being portrayed in the media as a foreigner that you can um, say whatever, it's like, you know, just different, mm. seeing being different. And that's how they came to be ignorant because what should be like taught at them or even in school has a different story, you know? Yeah, I think so. Reality. And, and, and TV is also made to portray other people, you know. I think Japanese TV, and that's another reason I don't watch Japanese TV. And again, this is my opinion, um, <laughs> solely mine. I don't watch Japanese TV because I feel like it's it's locked. So if you're a person who's never traveled outside of Japan, you you, you wouldn't okay. see a need. Yeah. You wouldn't see a need. Yeah. To travel, you you th there's nothing on Japanese TV that 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 makes you inquisitive about others or or how they are or it's just about Japan and Japan and Japan. Like, okay, but what about the other parts of the world? Like, they exist, right? So I don't watch it because like there's nothing on there for me to watch. It's just like, yeah, it's depressing. And especially if you're coming from like the West world, where you have you know American TV available to you, you have African TV, you have UK, you have Canada, you have all the options of all the the countries, even Asia. So you know, and then you come here, it's like they know nothing about you. Like it's just like, but we live on the same planet, no? Yeah. So it's just like, okay, I don't wanna. And I understand why some people wouldn't want to come to Asia because of the stereotype about you know racism and. I mean, there's racism everywhere. I think Japan has it, and I don't pardon them. Don't get me wrong; I don't pardon them for their racism. But it's a lack of knowledge, and you can't have knowledge if you don't know you don't have it. Like you, you don't. There's no creativity or no passion to find out the truth about it if you don't even know it exists. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 
So like, they would look at people certain ways, and I'm just like, I pity you. Like, just be calm. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I'm still here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. We still here. We still love Japan. Japan. Yeah, I do love it. There's still a lot of, yeah. a lot of good things. There's so many good things yeah. about Japan. So you want to start with? The good thing. Jump to that. The good thing. <laughs> okay, yeah. So the good things. Um, good things about Japan. It's so efficient and organized. <laughs> it's like everything that you need. It's, like, it's there. It's there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really? You wanna you wanna do it like how you call it like a category game. So we just keep saying one good thing, one and the person thing? that runs out of something to good. say. Okay, okay, go starting. Yeah, yeah. has to finish that. Has to has to. Have a Tabasco shot. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that Maybe we'll so do a cool. challenge. Your mom, we can do a challenge. Tabasco. A challenge some other time. Yeah. 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 No, really, we got Tabasco here. <laughs> so the last person that don't get to say something, the good oh thing about Japan, like they already get like just two drops. <laughs> okay, if you want us to do a challenge, you can comment and we'll do a challenge next time with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we could do the Korean ramen challenge. Yeah, Chester yeah, wants yeah. to do a Korean. Will you do the Korean ramen? The spicy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, so we'll do a, we'll do a challenge. Yeah. Okay, okay so good thing. Start. Good thing. I I started. You said efficient. Okay. Efficient and organized. Um. Five. Four. Time. They're very time. Three. They're very timely. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's on time. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Good. Um. Okay, I thought you were just gonna say one thing, a convenience store. He said okay. convenient. convenient. You said train. No, she said No, I train. said time. Mm -hmm. that's, oh, that's different. If you lost something, your mm. phone, mm -hmm. money, bag, go back there the next day. They will be in the same spot, or same like, like, like the side of the road. Yeah, yes. they they don't. They're like they're so honest. Honest, yeah, they are. Honest. Honesty yeah. is like, ugh. yeah. So you can leave your car open and go to bed. Yeah. I I left my. This is creepy, but I usually leave my apartment. We told open. them the other day. Oh, we <laughs> the first video we did, we told them that she said that. So. I go to the grocery store, the supermarket, and I just leave my door open. And what happened, so the front, I have a sliding door at the front, um, and I thought I closed it. And it went three days like that, and nothing was missing. I went to work, I closed the back door. <laughs> <laughs> and all the time, the easy access of the front is open, and I didn't know. And yeah, I'm still here, guys. I'm alive. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I know I'm just holding this rubber band, but I'm just wondering, I'm just, I remember, um, I forgot one rubber band at the classroom, uh, it, this was in school, so I, I used flashcards and then I just left it there, because I'm like, maybe, I just forgot yeah. to put the cards back, yeah. and then a few minutes out after the, the sensei, the teacher, like, came to me and gave back the piece of rubber band and said, sensei, you forgot. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm like, oh my god, oh. I was about to cry. You're like, oh, rubber band. They're really, really, really honest. Mm -hmm. And what I, one more thing I like, <laughs> this could also get me really fat, but <laughs> like, so at work, every day I get candy, some form of sweets. Yeah. And it always comes around the time of the day when you know, like, it's about like 3 30 when your energy is low and kids are gone home and you just wanna, you just don't wanna come. Yeah, they're they're very polite and nice. Although sometimes, well, they, I don't know if this is part of the possibility. But, <laughs> but it's okay. We can talk about both. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes they they're so nice. It's annoying. Yeah, it's annoying, and sometimes you don't feel like it's the true. It's like it feels fake. Yeah. yeah, and you know, I had to catch myself because they're so nice. It's just like like, do you think I'm stupid? <laughs> like. But yeah, they, I think it's genuine. They don't know any better. Uh, okay. yeah. mm. I think it's genuine, but it can be a bit much sometimes. It's like, okay, thank you. Okay. Like, for example, so the dentist, remember I went to the dentist? Mm -hmm. I was talking to my my 
Kanto Sensei, which is the teacher who's responsible for me at one of my schools. So I was like, do you know any Tensi? She's like, no, but I know someone who does. And she spoke to the lady next to her that she goes to the dentist place like close to my house. So I was like, yeah, I want to go. I just want to clean my teeth. He's like, okay, when do you want to go? I was like, oh, maybe Saturday. She's like, okay. Then she just called and then she came and she's like, oh, your appointment is Saturday at this time. And I'm like, well, well, well thank you. And then she called and she's like, how was your appointment the next week? And I'm like, it was good. She's like, yeah. So they're really, really, really helpful. And I wanted to go get my nails done. She called the place and find out the cost and stuff. And I'm like, what? What would I do without you? <laughs> yeah, they're really helpful. That level. That's yeah. true. There was there was one time when I was still teaching at your school. Mm -hmm. um, so I had to go to the uh, post office, which is just like two minutes walk from from the from the, the one above uh, above the the Lawson. Yeah, that's that's um, the one. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's very close to the school, right? And I told to the coaches and say like I have to go to um the post office to mail this to my company. And he was like, oh, all right, I can drive you to um the <laughs> post, <laughs> to the post office. office. And I was like, oh, I can just walk. It's just like two minutes. Away. That's after you gave him the car. Mm -hmm. Was it after you gave him the car? No, I, I still had the car before. <laughs> I just told him that it's just two minutes walk. I can just do it. But and he still back. could. Yeah. He still took me a ride, or gave me a ride. So. Oh, this is what the um, so, so the apartment I stay at right now. This building, mm -hmm. it was owned by an, uh, like an old guy. His name is Takado San. And um, when he saw that I always park my bicycle in the second floor, he said I would carry it and park it the second floor. And he says, just park it downstairs. And he says like I just says like there's no space. And I'm just like I don't know if you should park your bicycle okay. like downstairs. Yeah. And he says, and then he says. And then I just said, okay, I will park it tomorrow. And then a f an hour after, he came back and then he bought this um, really thick lock, bicycle lock. And it says, okay, uh, press it. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you can go park your bicycle uh, downstairs. Uh, and uh, I just really said, how equal are these guys? And he's like, you press it. And I'm like, oh my God, please. And it's like even before that, on the day that I was moved, I moved in an apartment. Mm -hmm. So I did the day when I was checking the apartment, I asked the agents like, "Oh, so God, there's no intercom, mm -hmm. you know?" <laughs> and then he says, and then I just says, "Okay, so how do I? How do, if one of my friends are coming?" Says I just made a joke like, oh, "Okay, they're joking. They're just gonna call me Donna." <laughs> 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 and then, and then like, the agent just laughed, yeah, something like that. And then the day that I moved there, like the owner, he he has installed. installed an intercom. Not, but the thing is, there's like six rooms in the building, it's like uh -huh. three floors, but he only stole the intercom on the second floor. Because oh. <laughs> you said, because I asked, and then that time there was a lady that was my neighbor, so he only installed because if you go outside yeah. there's only two there's only two yeah two and one and two two yeah. right yeah, yeah. you're the, the one yeah, yeah. 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 Like, oh. see they care but they really care about safety but mm. uh you guys are not japanese so she said a couple of things just now that you have no idea what she said so one son so in japan whenever <laughs> whenever you're talking about somebody um calling their name you have to say son it's just respectful so i wouldn't say i am nikki san it's rude like you don't call yourself that i'm nikki and that's okay they will say Nikki-san. So it's like a respect, like, you know how we say Mrs. or Mr. or something mm -hmm. like that. But it's like really respectful. And also, Ikura desu ka? It's like, how much? How mm -hmm. much is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much is it? So she was asking how much for the bicycle lock that the guy bought. He's like, uh, it's it's okay. Uh, it's present. It's a present. Mm -hmm. It's a gift. It's a gift. You, don't, you don't have to, mm -hmm. to pay for it. So, yeah, I think that was all Japanese you just said. <laughs> yeah. So, Really? Oh, and Soka. Soka means yes. Mm. It's like yes. It's like, oh, okay, I understand. Yeah. Yeah, it's senior. Alright, senior, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know if this will help though, but I noticed like a lot of my, um, if you're really like into getting some advice, like um, my plus size friends. <laughs> Bring your own clothes. <laughs> Bring your clothes. Like, or, or be willing to pay extra for shipping and shop online. Because they see friends struggling to find like even underwears or like casual clothing or but it's actually it's actually um so i got that advice from my friend who lives here when i was mm -hmm. coming i asked her 
she's like for girls who have you know who are thick or whatever she recommend that mm -hmm. and but here you can actually find places but it's just a little bit more uh ex yeah expensive mm -hmm. also it depends on where you are because if you live in a white community like <laughs> we do then you have no luck but there's some areas like nagoya tokyo osaka mm -hmm. kyoto that has that ha you can get stuff there for like um mm -hmm. people who has body and yeah, I think mm -hmm. you can find some in Second Street too, like in Second like Thrift Shop. Yeah, to, yeah maybe. Yeah, it's it's but nobody wants to buy a bra from you or a bra, Chester. Yeah. We're talking about. Underwear? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is, you can, there's a place, that, but not enough options. Yeah. So. And you also, if you're going to be shopping here, I think good and bad thing, if you're open to exploring. <laughs> yourself and your fashion japan is for you mm -hmm. but if not well you're gonna have to, to buy your own stuff and go over to the shop because the fashion here is different yeah, it's, it's for the japanese it's, it's for asian <laughs> but i wouldn't even say asian because it's not donna it's not no. chester but it's no. it's japanese chinese korean kind of fashion and it's i like it so so yeah mm -hmm. so so means kind of like for other people but not. yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay one more thing uh, makeup Ah, yes. makeup. Yeah, it's more, it's uh, more catered to their skin tone and so lighter. You would find. Cause I went, I went to Nars. You know the Nars store. You know the big makeup store in. I think it's called Kyoto? C Yeah, Kyoto Station. Mm -hmm. I went to the Nars store because I wear mostly Nars makeup, and I th the names of the makeup is a little bit different too. So like I couldn't tell mine. Um, and then she, the, her first question was, "Do you want lighter?" And I'm like, "What? Well, no." <laughs> Because they wear makeup to make them look white. And I'm like, no, sweetie, no. I just want my complexion. I want to just look like me, natural. natural tone. So, yeah, I think because that was probably a little bit um, it's hard. for them, too, because you're used to selling lighter shades. Mm -hmm. It took her a while to, you know, find my shade. Yeah, so even lipstick. So I think lipstick is not so bad. There's options. I think and there's options. Okay, we <laughs> just have it. Have it. Buy. Yeah. Like usually, I would buy when I go back, like go home to Philippines, or when May, when she would go, because she, she's much better at choosing my for my skin tone <laughs> <laughs> than you. Yeah, and she would go back and bring all this like lipstick that actually fits with my skin tone. Yeah, but I don't mm. wear lipstick so. But mm. for all my people who shop on AliExpress. If you can find good vendors, you can find yeah, the best AliExpress. I didn't appreciate AliExpress until I moved to Japan. <laughs> because like, you know when you're in the West and you have to wait like some <laughs> six weeks to get your stuff, right? In two weeks, it's here. It's faster. <laughs> or like it's so much faster. Like we're oh. used to waiting even a month or two months wow. for one thing. It's coming from another country. It's coming from AliExpress it's in China. Okay, no, I mean from Jamaica. I, yeah, no, so it's coming from, so it will go to AliExpress, it will go to like America. Oh, okay. This so I don't think they ship to Jamaica, home. to sell America. Yeah. So it's further. Have you tried, like, because even on Amazon, if you do ex, um, uh, expedited shipping, mm -hmm. then you can get it the next day. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you, the Amazon here delivers faster too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get everything, everything is yeah, pretty much the next yeah, day or, sure. or two days. Yeah. And they deliver on Saturday and Sunday. And sure. holiday. And you can, you can, so you can, uh, most packages you have to sign for them, but you can also select the option for just them to just leave, leave it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they'll, so, remember when I bought my scale? Like, I knew I wouldn't be home, so I select the option to leave it. And when I came, it was right by my door, and it was there all day, and no one took it. It was right there, in the box, right by my door. Yeah. yeah Safe. I've shopped, I've shopped in Amazon a lot of times already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they always come in time. It's convenient. Yeah. And they have a lot of stuff. They have a lot of Something stuff. Something yeah. to a little bit expensive. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and they no. don't have everything. I mean, they have a lot of mm. things, but they don't have everything. Yeah. I was talking about Amazon JP. It's different from Amazon, regular Amazon. Amazon mm. JP is a little bit limited. Yeah. So like English books that you can find at the bookshops here, mm. it's easier to find in Amazon, even sometimes cheaper. But like here in Chico where we live, there's there are bookstores, there's a lot, but there's not much English books or <laughs> yeah. And you know what you got me? Buy. Was it me? Remember when we book. went with Katie to um Kyoto? Kyoto, we went to the the bamboo thingy. 
and we caught, we oh. went to the bookstore and they yeah. had the books had English titles on the front. Yeah, yeah. And you open them, it's, it's Japanese. Japanese. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Imagine your disappointment. Yeah. It's like okay, one English book and then you're like, uh no. So this bookstore that went to in Kyoto yeah. on Zen. That's like That's massive. That's a massive Yeah, and it's just one floor. Yeah. And for us it's already massive. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And they have like different categories of um, books. books. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Like English books. Sometimes in book off or second street, you can find some um, used books, mm. but um, you find the weird ones. <laughs> so like, just like, okay, okay. <laughs> the one you're looking for. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we talked long and hard about um, Japan. So you mm. guys know some things you need to know before you decide to move here, and you know some things you need to bring from home if you're coming here. Uh, you know some things not to do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think it's entirely the new, like, um, the dating life in Japan. Oh my god. <sighs> but maybe that's another video, I don't know. <laughs> and he's got something, like, some some stuff to share. I no, I don't. Donna has some stuff no. to share. Okay, now let's be here. A, a, song, a story. So we'll do a dating in Japan video as well then. We will do one. Uh, yeah. So let's just do quickly um, like two stories. Okay, one story from you about like one child that really connected with you here, mm-hmm. one child that connected with you here. So. Hi, those are Hi, those are all. One in front of your kids. It doesn't yeah, have to be for you. Any, any, any child that resonated with you here. Wow, okay. Um, Tell me about the girl, the, the, one, the one I was telling you like, earlier. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I saw but for a school yesterday at this Choto Inaka. Mm. Um, <laughs> I mean, we would go there. It was actually no, what is Choto Inaka? It's near the, the place where we went what to. Is Choto Inaka? Like a little countryside. Yeah. yeah. Which is beautiful. Like imagine like, so the ALT have this like mountain views from her desk. Just got the best spot there. Just in, oh my God. <laughs> This is a dream, mm-hmm. but it's a countryside. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, uh, actually, the the, the coach sensei was super nice. He's like, he tried to like have chat with me, and then coach sensei principal. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> See, this shows. I'm like, we're right, Japanese now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're getting Japanese. Yeah, you get Japanese too. English. <laughs> That's why. Yeah. And so they're gonna go back to the Philippines. Like, like, they'd be like, oh, oh. switching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, um, and then at some point he asked me, which is looking at my face, and I can see that my mask on. And he asked me like, "Are you happy?" <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? And then he's like, he, and then says like, and then I said no. And then he said like, "Oh, Otosan Filipino, Okasai, mother and father Filipino." I said, "Yes." <laughs> then you ask me if she's mixed, like if both her parents are the same. Because <laughs> it's hard when you just like meet people and you've got this mask. Even yeah. the children is like, because I did this like so I I um I did a country presentation. So before that, I made them guess where I'm from, mm-hmm. and I made like, am I from Jamaica, from Philippines, or from America? And then it was really like equal answers in all those three countries. I guess and, I'm Jamaica. And, it's, <laughs> and the kids would be like, uh, 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 Philippines, and then America too. And then, and then I was just like laughing, and then like I was just looking at the teacher. She like pulled down my mask. And just gonna <laughs> and then and then it says like ah, I'm from Philippines, and then the kids were just like jumping and. They get happy when they like get the correct, correct answer, answer, yeah. yeah, where you're from or what you like, and then we made a quiz as well about what food I like and sports. And then for like sports, I showed three photos of like basketball, tennis, and boxing, and all of them were like women, and mostly like um, known athletes. So I uh, like boxing. I use this. She's I forgot her name, but she's a famous boxer in America, and she's black. And this is one black kid in the class and she, she's a girl and then the moment I showed that photo I says do I like boxing and then she was like her face just lights up just like oh, I look like her and then she was just like smiling and looking at the photo at the time I was just talking and then and I think like for her to just see someone that's you know looks like her 
that's not usually i mean this is a different story i mean not usually the photos that she's using in africa or like kids in like conditions you know she sees someone that's like oh she's strong and she's amazing and she just lights up her her eyes just lights up and just yeah. was looking at the photo like the whole time i was doing that part of the quiz and then yeah and then i says like um the kids is that said basketball they just <laughs> the teacher was saying, go man, I'm sorry, they're so genki. And I'm like, don't be sorry, they're so cute. And then earlier I was telling you guys, there was this kid, um, she, uh, the moment I went inside the room, they just called my name like, Donna. And I'm like, why do you know my name? <laughs> and then um, obviously the teacher already says that a new ELT is coming just for today. And then there's this one half a mixed kid that just approached me and then he whispered to my ear actually and he says, my father is a foreigner. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you want me to say? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then, like, Good for you. <laughs> and, then, and then just like, I don't know, right away, just ask, where your father, where is your father from? I couldn't say, where is your mother from? <laughs> <laughs> and so he says, so, 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 thinking like, oh, Australia, Ajinae. Uh, and then he was thinking for a minute, and then I just says, um, UK? And yeah, he's like, yeah, UK. And then he's got this, um, he looks like a kid that you could mistake from an anime. He's got like yellowish, brownish eyes, mm -hmm. and then he's got his blonde hair, and it does, it looks like he colored it. So I asked him, Is the, you, did you color your hair? He was like, no, this is something natural. Mm. And, and then, so there's three mixed kids in the class, and, and then there's this, uh, another kid, she's taller than, she's the tallest in the class, and I just love her name. What's her name? Her name is <coughs> India. India. And then her last name is Davy. India Davy. And then she just told me as well without me asking, and she says, my father is British. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, this kid. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And, and I think yeah. it's very cute because I also have one kid, uh, you know Emma, mm -hmm. and her brother. She said, mm -hmm. her, no, she her English is really good, and she speaks both English and Japanese very well. So she, I was in this grade two class, and this little boy was translating for the teacher, and I'm like, but, but you're in grade two. <laughs> so I was like, but I couldn't get it because he was translating in Japanese, so like I knew he understood, but he wasn't speaking English. So then I had a sister the next day. She's like, yeah, I think he met my brother yesterday. I'm like, your brother? She's like, yeah, he told me he met me yesterday. I was like, oh, okay, now it makes sense. She's like, yeah, so our father is white. He's, he's from the UK. <laughs> so we speak English and Japanese. So I was like, okay. Uh, good, good to know. <laughs> They're really proud about that for some reason. But I'd be, I get, if you speak two languages, yeah, I'll be proud too. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, your story. My story, oh man, I... I actually have a lot of kawaii no. moments, but I think well, I think the one that has stuck um, in me was probably there was one time I was teaching that she can he can um, unit in, mm. in in a book. Good <laughs> school. Um, this is Nango. Nango. Yeah. And one student, like she just couldn't say she can write. She would say chicken instead <laughs> of a she can. So every time she would say a sentence, it sounded like chicken, like chicken sing, like, chicken do kendo. <laughs> Or uh, chicken dance, and I was trying to tell her, no, not that she, it's she, but she would be like chicken. <laughs> chicken. <laughs> I was like, really, not really, really funny. Yeah. But also, um, every time I sit down, with, so before I, I used to sit down with the students during lunchtime, but I don't do it anymore. Okay, you did that, so now they ask me, how come you don't have uh, kushiko with us? I'm like, yeah. I pretended like I didn't understand because they asked in Japanese, so I was yeah. like, uh, what can I say? And they were like, Sensei, we know, you know, we know, you know. And I'm like, uh, no, huh? And then the teacher, she's like, Nikki, Sensei, they're asking. And I'm like, I know what they're asking. I just didn't want to so ask like, well, just to Sensei, and I'm like, just to him. <laughs> I'm like, maybe after Corona, I'll eat with you guys, not now. Yeah. And they're like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's your fault. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was really. It was really fun because every time I sit down with them, so every time we had lunch together, they would, um, especially the grade, two. grade twos and the first uh, first graders, mm -hmm. they would come to me and then they would fix my hair, like literally, they would <laughs> braid my hair. They, they do that to me too. They do that to you too. It's just like really cute. Kind of thing. But, 
my grade ones, two and threes, my yeah. hair and their best friend. Yeah. And then when I had him, the remember when I had him the full? Yeah. They counted. I sat there and they counted all of them. And yeah. every time they they told me the number, I was like, no, you're wrong. Yeah. And eventually they got it. They counted. They count. They counted. <laughs> they counted eighteen. I was like. Yeah. Okay, my grade threes are coming yeah, to yeah, eighty yeah. in English. I was like, well, I'm doing something right. Yeah, Is this in Nango? This was in uh, Kami. Okay. Kami. Yeah, yeah. Kami is really the only one you can do such close things with yeah, yeah. because, like, you don't have to be with so many yeah, people. Yeah. It's the great thing with small schools. Yeah, it's so laid back. So the thing is, we all taught at the same school at yeah. some yeah. point. Yeah, yeah. In Nango. And I think there was this one kid, I was having lunch with him, and then we, he, he just started singing when we were eating. And then he sang, he started singing, Pretty Woman. Oh. <laughs> and it was even, he speaks English, so the way he even sings it is like yeah. clear. And then I asked him like, wow, kid, what other, like, um, why do you know that song? And he's just like, his father is a guitarist, and he always played like Queen and all this, like 70s, 80s music. The thing is, the same kid that told you, like, um, in my environment. Oh, what yeah, did that's he right. say? Yeah, so I have one kid. So I asked him, "Oh, do you play video games?" So this was during lunchtime. Do you play video games? And he was like, um, "He said my environment." <laughs> he said, "In my ecosystem." <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's even on some level. It's my, in my ecosystem. ecosystem. You can't, you can't play video games. And I thought about it a little bit. So I was like, oh, maybe if I like in his house, like he couldn't play video games. Okay. I think maybe he so needs in his family. Probably too. Yeah. <laughs> It was so something cute. he learned from his science class. And he's trying to use in English <laughs> yeah. in my English. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. I, I, you yeah. can get what he yeah. means. That's so cute. But it took me a while before okay. I understood like, what? <laughs> this, cute. this is one kid in my school. He's Japanese, but every time he sees me during lunchtime, playtime, mm -hmm. uh, like lunch break, he would say, he would be walking and just tell me, Kanda umaga! Mm -hmm. <laughs> so like, good morning in Tagalog, in my language. Yeah, yeah. you talking yeah. to him? No. And Filipino? I asked him, how the hell do you know him? <laughs> <laughs> and then he says, he's got a Filipino friend. Ah, he's like okay. in their neighborhood, and then yeah. he taught him. Aww. So, every time, every single time. Yeah. Kanda umaga! <laughs> That's all he knows. Yeah. Yeah. I have this one kid, um, he's in grade four. I think you would know him. Mm -hmm. He, he acts like he's special needs, but he really is. He's just really yeah, hyper. Okay. Um, so every day, every day I have grade four. I have that class uh, once per week. And every time after class, he would come to the staff room and he would give me a gift. Like he would, and he makes stuff. So the other day he gave me, like he made a dragon with and colored it and it's in paper. And at the time, he gave, he found a marble. Now, in Japanese culture with these kids, marbles are everything. Mm -hmm. He had one blue crystal marble. And he's like, presento. I'm like, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Mm -hmm. And I tried to give it back to him. And he wouldn't take it. And I'm like, well, take it. So the teacher came to me and he uh, he was like, no, no, no. He said it's for you. You have to take it. <laughs> I have to take it. And I'm <laughs> like, but you like this. He says, yes, I love it. But it's for you, Stinson. He says, here. He's like, those are those, those. I'm like, but... So I took it when I was leaving. I tried to give it back to him, and he ran me down the hallway and dropped it in my pocket. <laughs> oh, <that's so laughs> and he, and he walks it. me. He walks to the staff yeah. room every day. Like my grade fours, they come to the end of the corridor, they mm -hmm. meet me, and walk me to the classroom. And then I'll be outside, be like, "Make a sense, and we're ready." And I'm like, "Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> give me some time, yeah. okay?" It was, it was probably the same kid. Like one time I was in that same school, uh, I was teaching, and then there was this one kid who was not paying attention. Yeah, man, that's him. That's the only good thing. <laughs> he wasn't in grade three at that time. Yeah, that's He's right. He's the only kid, like, but he knows what to do, though. Yeah, exactly, that's right. But at that time, he was doing um, like an origami, like he was folding people. Yeah, so I was like, well, you're quiet this time, so that's okay. Okay, you can do your thing. You're gonna give at the end, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So at the end, like I thought, um, so when I said goodbye to them, like he stood up and then he gave me the thing yeah. he was doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he's really sweet. He yeah. likes to give like this origami paper. Yeah, yeah. And, and he makes it. He makes it more. He's so cute. He's I mean, so these cute. Japanese kids are so cute. Yeah, but they are. and I don't know, like, do you find it surreal that sometimes you're in Japan, like you're teaching? Oh my god, every day. Every day, right? Every day, like, and then when they do the cutest thing, so the grade threes, yeah. like my favorite grade three class. I won't say what what number because I don't want you to see this video. But my favorite grade three class, 
Um, so <laughs> they came, so it was English time for them, obviously, and they ran down the hall because the staff room is on the same block as the grade three, grade mm-hmm. three and grade two. Yeah. So the grade three side, so I was walking and then they came out to see if I was coming and they all ran back into the classroom. She's coming, she's coming. I'm like, okay, what's this now? Then when I got to the door, they met me outside with like a, I don't have it with me now, but they met me outside with a, a present. It was in a, in a, do I have to do it? No, it's at work. It's, uh, it's in an envelope and they wrote to, uh, to Ego Sensei from three nanny. <laughs> So I was like, oh. So then I put it down because I know it's English time. I was gonna open it after. They're like, they wouldn't pay attention. They're like, open it, open it. <laughs> I'm like, now. They're like, yes, yes. And they always stand in there. Mm-hmm. And they made me a bookmark with all. The, each one of them drew something on it, mm-hmm. and they put the grade, the grade, their class grade on it, and they drew a message to me. And I'm just like, oh. this is a Lambo. They went to do that. That's so sweet. And like, I'm like, you're gonna make me cry. And they're like, no crying, no, 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 <laughs> no yeah. And then they all hugged me. And I was just like, it's so sweet. It's Corona, get off. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. But I took their hug, you know, and they were all like high fiving. It was yeah. really, really, I showered very well that day. <laughs> the kids could get so really cute. affectionate. Like, they do, and then they you will cry. Hold your hand. I have one that's so jealous of me. I can't be anybody else's friend. Like she'd be like, <laughs> just be, I'm like, just you know, I'm not your mother. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like when they see you, especially the Ichin and series, first grade your kids, they never wash their hands. Yeah. But when they see you, they just want to teach everything. Yeah. They're here. They want to climb yeah. on top of you, and they yeah. But it just like when they see you, they're like like Nana Sensei. Yeah. And sometimes you're in the mood, I just pretend, okay, let's play hide and seek. Sometimes I do run when I'm not in the mood, but sometimes I go like hug them and yeah. they'll be like, uh, like, just some, say something like, let's go somewhere, let's take a walk. And I was like, no, go to yeah. class. Right. And there was this like fourth grader kid, this like half Taiwanese, half Japanese. Mm. But then every time he sees me, he just holds my head, like a really affectionate yeah. way that I'm his mom. And then one time we were playing dodgeball, oh. and then the kids when I play dodgeball with them, they always want to target me. Of course, yeah. And then he 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 then pretended to like go in front of me uh, and then like to protect me. Yeah. So and then sweet. we look at him go around. Did you go? And then <laughs> oh my god, can you just like go up? <laughs> 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 no, it's okay. I have a few of those kids at my school. I'm like, why do you have to be a kid? <laughs> Grow up, man. <laughs> You just like drink a peel or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then every time he sees me, he can tell that the way he just the way he looks like, like me, like, can you be my mom or something? And then just hold my hand. And every time, and then when I'm just really busy, I just tell him like, okay, so do you, so do you can eh? Like next time we'll yeah. walk around. So sweet. Yeah, and <clears throat> also this Filipino uh, kid. She's I think now second grader. She speaks Filipino. Where is she this? speaks Filipino in uh, Seto Higashi. Oh, okay. And then her parents like uh, work here in Otsu. And then um, I just could tell that every time she sees me, like she's happy. She's happy. This is her face that I talk about. Mm. All right, guys. So we will talk it's forever so and ever. <laughs> this video is too long already. <laughs> um, so we'll do another video, you know, with the ramen challenge or whatever. So we have to go. And. <laughs> so we'll answer all your well we hope I hope we answered all your questions. If you have any more questions you can leave a comment below. Tell us topics do you want to hear about on Talk Show. Bye guys. Bye. 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 Bye.